How are you my internet family and welcome back for another video with my little sister Jessie B. Hey. Um, this series is coming to an end unfortunately because this little one's turning 20 in Next February. Month. Guys I'm getting too old, too quick. <laughs> like. Wish her happy birthday down in the comments but uh, yeah we're just dressed like this because it's really cold. So cold. Don't mind us. Yeah. Um, and we, we have to be showing, showing the, the bods. The so. bods. <laughs> All the things. One of the most requested topics Jessica and I ever get is body image, body confidence, you know self-esteem all that kind of stuff and oh. <laughs> it's a touchy one yeah it's it's I've talked a lot about it in the past um but it's something that like I I've openly talked about body dysmorphia which is something that never fully goes away on a scale of one to ten I'd say my body image like body confidence is probably about a seven which I think is pretty good Go yeah. by modern standards. How yeah, about you? I'd say it's pretty good. Mine would probably be about the same. Yeah. I'd say about seven, like I because I'm not like so so confident in myself, but then I'm not so like unconfident. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, we want to talk about everything in yes. this video that we get asked about. Um body shapes, you know. Body shaming, stretch marks, health, all the things. All of the all things. of the things body related. I posted my first kind of body positive picture on Instagram this week. Yeah. And um the feedback on it was absolutely amazing. But I did get some comments on it that because I had the hashtag body positivity and people were telling me that because I'm white and young and able bodied and not necessarily like I'm not fat, um, they were kind of acting like I can't talk about being positive in my body. I get that the movement was set up for marginalized bodies and yeah. stuff, but girls like Jessie and I, like we've struggled with body image a lot, guys. Our whole lives pretty much. Yeah. Like your body type and your body weight have absolutely nothing to do with body confidence. Like you could see like someone who's so thin and you're like, oh like they're obviously so confident. They're so lucky. They're as well. so lucky, yeah. They must be so healthy. Um I don't like that when health is latched onto weight. Yeah. At no at all. I hate that. We were talking about this before, that you might see someone who, you know, is a lot heavier and stuff but they might be a lot healthier than someone and who's and a lot more confident and a lot more confident yeah, yeah. like and, or they might just be confident and they might not be healthy you know there's yeah. such a big range like i feel like people seem to think that if you are overweight you are so not confident and you're you like hate your body da, da, da. Mm. and if you're thin oh you you must love your body and like you know be so confident in yourself but like it can literally be vice versa like someone could be so overweight and love so themselves. love themselves and so confident and just like love how they are and someone could be so thin and absolutely despise everything about how they look yeah it doesn't have anything, anything. to do with how you yeah. feel about and yourself. please absorb that message guys because literally the most confident i ever was naked and um, i was a lot heavier than i am now and when i was at my lowest weight was when I was still struggling because I'd lost an awful lot of weight. I've talked about this in other videos, mm -hmm. but basically I got to like my goal and I didn't feel any differently. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I know why now as well. Do you know that? It's because my shape, I wanted my shape to change. You and can't change you can't, your shape. No. Like, You're born this way, yeah, baby. It's genetic and yeah. you have to embrace it. I've had so many tweets from girls who are paranoid about hip dips, for example, which I have, let me just show you. So Jess and I are obviously eight years apart and we have quite a similar shape oh, however <laughs> jesse's um, a slimmer and i'm a, a little bit of a pudgier but we both work out guys yeah we both work out without showing you too much <laughs> a hip dip is basically when your hip is kind of fairly narrow and then you have some you know goes it goes in and then out in in the way the, the different way shake your booty shake your booty <laughs> No, not more at your dance, your stupid dance, sit down. <laughs> oh, basically guys, um, what you'll see a lot online is one size and shape represented. And even within the body positivity movement, it really does upset me that like most um, plus size models now and most people who champion um, bodies that haven't necessarily been shown in the media, yeah. they're all, you know, really, really wide hips and big bum and then very narrow waists and yeah. big boobs and they're all that kind of beautiful shapely shape and like my shape is beautiful as well it's just different and it's not the same thing that's seen in in media and stuff like that 
as a bisexual woman, I can massively appreciate an hourglass. Like yeah. my eye is drawn to that. Oh, eye. me too. You yeah. see it, and it's like healthy, and it looks it looks beautiful. But, but it's the only shape that seems to be portrayed in the media or anywhere is mm-hmm. hourglass, and then like anybody else yeah. is just There's like very few very slim girls. Like Kira yeah. Knightley's one of the only ones. And again, then it's going back to like that. So much is attached to what you look like on the outside. People put so much of their self worth and their value in their external how they look body. people seem to have this idea that if you are thin naturally thin or thin or whatever or you get thin, or you get thin that you can't have insecurities yeah. like and skinny it's so shaming frustrating. is skinny such a big shaming. thing it's huge and it's so it's so infuriating because like i've always been naturally thin mm. always like look look at her my body wrist. frame like I even have I have a very naturally small frame as well yeah and I when I was younger like I I, I like, just I just eat an awful lot guys but like she's naturally tiny people have said like such like I've heard really nasty things being said about me like um like oh she's always worked out like she's just putting it up now because like she's trying to show off like I've apparently someone said that about me and I was like oh my like Please explain to the friends how unhealthy and unfit, guys, I used to get okay, yeah. out of breath. I'd be going up a hill, I'd be walking five minutes and I'd be out of breath. Like, I used to... She was she was not fit. She she no. didn't eat the same way that she and does now. And I was now. like this. I was still mm. really thin, but like... It I, didn't represent your, your health. No, no. I was... I wasn't toned. I've been exercising for months, so I'm a lot more toned now. But like, I was always very thin, but I used to eat a crap load of shit like yeah. i used to eat so much crisps so much chocolate so much sweets like every day i'd have chocolate and crisps and sweets like mm. and like and when i was younger like i was jealous that you could eat all that and not get the way i was because yeah. i did like my metabolism was just different or whatever but like i i ballooned out and i and we were both so unhealthy so we were both examples of two opposite extremes like i was yeah. like quite overweight and my doctor told me i was nearly like going into obese and all i was big and um you know, Jess was real slim, but we were both really unhealthy. unhealthy. I definitely think that everyone, every body type, every body shape, every size should accept themselves and embrace the body Mm. that they're in in any moment, even if they're not healthy, even if they're here on on a health journey. But the two of us are quite health positive people. And like, I will always encourage people to look after themselves and not to look a certain way and not to necessarily but fit into a box for your mental but, health yeah like i yeah. i've been exercising now consistently for like a few months like properly exercising and for somebody who really suffered with depression and mental health issues in the past like it has done bad. such yeah really bad it's mm. done such wonders for me like and mm. i always used to think when people said oh exercise so good for your mental health yeah it's like oh whatever. fuck <laughs> off like <laughs> I, I used to say to you mom used to say it to you i know and i'd be like yeah come on go on yeah. i'm going back to bed to eat my chocolate <laughs> <laughs> but like this is the thing we literally bought eight crisps today and um, i had like half a chocolate bar and then got bored of it and like we we don't we we're not like perfect. Ourselves, yeah. Neither of us are perfect, but I do think there's a huge thing to be said about accepting that you're in this body and you're never gonna just wake up in someone else's body. And you're this shape, and that's your shape. Unless let's just have a nice segue. You get surgery or put um, implants, for yeah. example. I don't have anything against if someone wants surgery. No, what I do have a problem with is when people deny deny it or like they portray that they've worked out for it yeah like that they have got that um from squats yeah or something. From, so basically like that kim kardashian has got that bum from working out oh yeah girl look, look at, at this these. comparison <laughs> like she has a bum like all of us a yeah. normal bum a normal bum like this is not real like it's not that's not real and there's it's, so much that's unattainable yeah it's, it's to go from one extreme to another and then lie about how you got there is what bothers me Same. like all power or two women who do have a naturally really big bum and now they're like yeah. you know because this is in in fashion and stuff like that but um I've always wanted a different body shape my whole life growing up and it's like been very hard for me to accept that I'm never gonna be able to do anything about my genetics do you know what I mean so what I try and do is just like focus in on the parts of myself that I really really like Um, there's parts that I do you know what it is as well growing up like oh. media like all of this stuff 
actresses look. I used to come, I used to look up actresses' oh. weights. The girls in Friends, yeah, like Jennifer I don't and, and they were all they were all so thin, like yeah. so it's very. And I'd find I'd, I'd see like what I weighed, and I'd compare it to what they weighed, and we'd be the same height. And I was like, wow, Barbies, tiny, tiny waist, oh. same shape. Disney princesses, all look the same. All look the exact tiny, same. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny. I went through such bad. Like for a couple of years, I was obsessed with weighing myself. Like so, when I was like in my mid teenage years, young to mid teen. I went through a stage where I literally, I would weigh myself a couple of times a day. And like, so mm. our weighing scales are done in like pounds. So what are the little things in the middle called? They're like, it's just increments between yeah. like, you'd go up 0.2, point So basically three. like, you know, they're tiny little movements. <laughs> and if I'd go up two, I'd literally go to my room and cry and cry and cry. And I'd be like, I'm, I'm putting weight on, I'm getting fat, I'm getting fat. And like the image I saw in the mirror was so distorted to what I actually looked like Mm -hmm. like I was really thin I was thin but when I looked in the mirror that's not what I saw this is the idea of your body becoming something that the like that society dubs as like a bad thing and it's not like it's not for someone to be like like fat acceptance and and all that stuff I I think it's really really important because a lot of people are struggling um with maintaining a healthy weight everyone is at a totally different place on their journey and some people might reach a place where they're like look it I don't really care about being healthy and all that crap and I don't want to eat those things and I'm just gonna you know let them do them you do you and I think there's just too much judgmentalism and like too much the body shaming stuff, like the amount of comments you see as a woman yeah, on the internet. It's disgusting. It actually is disgusting. <laughs> What's an example of a body shaming comment you got online? Oh God, like today, um, what was it? Picture where you can see my bum. And they said, would you like some syrup with that pancake? That today? Yeah. Someone once said to me that I looked like my legs were going to break because they were so thin. I feel like we all really need to change our attitudes towards other people's body and comparing ourselves to them because you can't compare one person to another because Mm. shapes, sizes, health, like there's so many different contributing factors that Mm -hmm. you just cannot compare one person to other. Like you can't compare Melanie to me and you can't, you know what I mean? Like I I love following a real diverse range of types of bodies and and stuff on Instagram and things like that because it just makes you see so much more beauty rather than being like, Oh, all these people are just not good enough. This person is yeah. it. Like it's so ridiculous, and I know it's human nature, um, to to notice like differences and stuff. But it's the self awareness. Yeah, makes definitely. a huge difference to your confidence, doesn't it? And like your mental health, because like yeah. if you're not aware of why can, you're feeling like that, it can really fuck you up, mm. like and affect you in a negative way. Do you get that now? Like, say if you're if you're having a day where you're like a little bit off about your body and stuff because you're so aware of all this stuff of how loads of people get fat transfers literal yeah. fat transfers from like stomach to butter or whatever yeah like like you're seeing an awful lot of stuff that's like photoshopped and all completely changed like um and even posing like there's this amazing girl on instagram that i follow and i'm gonna link a video of hers down below she's a youtube channel is that the one you're showing me with all the different yeah yeah yeah. oh it's amazing these pictures are like her literally posing differently that you can see here um i can definitely stand in a certain way and look differently and i everybody can everyone can. there are little everyone does you know and a lot of people do without even realizing like when you're getting a full length photo mm-hmm. or you're taking a full it's like photo. almost like a, it's just in the back of your mind just tells you to like stand up yeah straight. who's gonna take a selfie from a low angle yeah. in a dark, dark room? room you're always gonna stand in front of a window yeah. with like the phone kind of like it's just kind of the way things have gone and we kind of have to adapt to that and be aware of it all the time like I think it's just um when you're not aware of it then you're way more harsh on yourself oh yeah and you're looking at this person you're like they are a goddess yeah I am a fucking potato literally (laughs) and it's so bad and then things that like people of all shapes and colors and sizes have is like stretch marks and sitting down like where you get little belly rolls yeah everybody my my bum is covered in stretch marks oh, like same. every inch of my body my boobs. Sil- silver when, like when they healed oh do they yeah. yeah so like a fresh stretch mark is like a red purple color and then over time they heal to like they got fade to like a white they're like tiger stripes yeah. like, everybody has them boys have them and then 
with, with like the belly thing, I'm sure even though you have like a flat tummy, if you sit in a certain way, you can grab oh, yeah. a roll. I'll still and have, stuff. I'll still get rolls. Yeah, even though I have a really flat stomach, like, mm. um, and, and it's not to be embarrassed about. People get no. like so embarrassed about those things, thinking they're really abnormal. Especially stretch marks. But like, if you think about it, right, you start as a little baby <laughs> that can go in yeah. your arms, and you have to grow to be like what, like four foot, five foot, six foot, whatever. Like, just think, your body stretches. <laughs> so, of course, you can't just, like, stretch without any mark of anything. Like, yeah. just think of it, like, logically. Every single person who has ever been born has to stretch. So, every single person has stretch marks. You, you might be different, but, like, for me, anyway, like, ever since that, I shifted the focus of, like, my health being completely linked to how I look, I have felt a lot better about how I look. Yeah. So, like, I... Because now... I look after myself for a lot more reasons other than to look healthy. Like, I like my skin being nice. I like having my eyes being white. I like my hair being glossy, like my nails being strong. There is elements to how you look to do it, like your health and all that. But yeah. in terms of size, like, it's just so bad to, like, te- go through your whole life wishing that you could be something different. Yeah. It's so sad to me. And even if you do want to change something about yourself all power to you like I've had girls message me and they've been you know I'm really behind the body positivity movement but I've gained 40 pounds and I'm not that happy about it and I would like to change it slowly am I being a bad ally of body positivity absolutely fucking not no like Jesus that's if a personal thing if you yeah if you're not happy about something on yourself for example like if a boy wants to like join a football team and like he has to like gain weight to like gain muscle to become stronger to be able to play like that's like the same it's like that's a good reason to be altering like it's there's nothing nothing wrong with like altering your body to have a certain look people get tattoos people get you know just not for anybody else yes or to look like anybody else yes if it's just for yourself and like something but not for anyone else or to look like anybody else just do it for yourself that's such a good yeah so important like that she's hitting the nail on the head there if you really look inward and question why you're doing something because I've done this before like I I I put on an awful lot of weight with my first boyfriend because he seemed to like bigger girls when I was with my second boyfriend I noticed that he went for very small petite girls and I became very aware of that and I was like oh you know what I mean and um yeah and I've had I I talk to my boyfriend a lot now about it and because he doesn't have a type so it's Um, great (laughs) yeah and and um and I've, I've, I've really had people around me make me realize like, no, if you look after yourself and stuff like, like, like how you look, you have to just get okay with that. And I'm mostly okay with it now. Like yeah. I, I definitely think I'm, um, you know, I have so much to be thankful for. Jesus. Yeah. As the you littlest say, insecurity. The smallest things like that. Someone wouldn't even notice in yourself. But that's what I always say. Like, you know, like even like if you're like oh like this Jessica like look this is yeah. ridiculous and I'm like Melanie like I can't even notice it like you when you're looking in the mirror all you're staring at is that little thing yeah. that's wrong it's like when you tell me you know when you do your eyebrow makeup and you're like this one is really crooked. yeah I can't see it because like <laughs> you as a person you're looking at you're just focusing in on the thing you don't like whereas mm. somebody just talking to you they're just looking at like they're not like oh it's that it's the eyebrow <laughs> it's Stay. awful like you know they're just they don't notice things like that. Other people don't, unless you point it out and you're like, look at this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So One of our viewers asked about um, body acceptance techniques. So like, I don't necessarily have, I'm not going to pretend I have like a list of techniques yeah. I follow, but there is certain <laughs> things that I do. Um, I definitely find like the whole self-care thing, like looking after my skin and my body and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But being naked is a huge thing for me. Like yeah. being on my own with my own body and like looking at my body in the mirror and actually just looking at it and being like, you are my home. You are where I live. Yeah. Like, why why am I hating on you? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, body image is a thing that a lot of people, most people, suffer with. Deal with through their life. Ups and downs and ups and downs. And all sorts of different things can affect it. Um, But the only thing that's a constant is that you are you. You are in your body. And you have control over the media that you look at comparing yourself to other people how you feel how you treat your body yeah how you everything you put into everything you do for it um yeah so yeah it's just it's a it's a consistent process process we'll be reading all your comments so pour your heart out to us down there and we are going to be yeah on her channel as well 
So we did a video on her toe. Reacting to old embarrassing photos. Yeah. And oh, it, oh if no! If you want to see us at our most, the time of our life when we were the most self-conscious, go over and watch that oh, video. Because, ooh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Teenage versus 20-something is dead and gone. And I'm so 30 glad. versus 20 I am not 30 years of age. <laughs> you nearly are, baby. You're 29 this year. <laughs> Leave suggestions of names for the new series. Series. <laughs> It might just be called Sister versus Sister. I don't know, but um, hope you've liked this series. Massive thumbs up for this. Yeah, you want more similar kind of collabs, and see you. Again. We'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.